guys, thank you for tuning in. My name is Scott and this is Old Hickory. I've already done one episode on my black 72 hour 511 bag and it's my go bag that I keep in my truck. Also every once in a while bring it in the house. But the next bag that I'm gonna show you is a one day just carry bag for hiking, uh, a trail bag, and that's what I intend it for. That's what I use it for. It's also a 511 bag, and I just wanted to spend a real quick, maybe eight to 10 minutes with you guys and show you guys what I have. There will be pictures and descriptions in this video, so if you feel free at any time, just stop the video, press pause, and you can look and see what website and uh, just kind of get a feel for some of the prices. So to start, I'm going to point out the fact on the left side of your screen, I've got some toothpaste and a toothbrush. Let's be completely honest here. If you are bugged down, if you're broke down on the side of the road, if a camping trip goes bad, maybe bad weather comes into play, you're gonna wish that you had a toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, go with the cheap stuff, just get a travel size. You really don't need an expensive toothbrush. It gets the job done. Next is also a very cheap and relatively affordable item and that is Hot Hands. There's also other brands, that's just the brand that I have. I'm sure all the other brands work just as good, um, but those are gonna be a potential lifesaver for you if it's a cold weather survival situation. So something that you should just pick up anytime you go to the store, sometimes they're as low as 74 cents all the way up to a dollar. Um, don't be afraid to grab some. Um, next, I have got some beef jerky, and I've also got some canned fish. I believe it's salmon. Um, I normally get my salmon and, and things of that nature from Ingles, sometimes Kroger, sometimes Food City. Um, and then I've got some, uh, some Jack Link's jerky. Both of those items have shelf lives um, that are two years and plus. So that's the reason why I keep them in my bag, which is sometimes in hot and cold climates uh, within my vehicle. Um, and I, I normally do keep the fish, the canned fish, for my dog in case we are with her and we are in a situation where we need to feed her for an emergency or maybe we just weren't prepared and we're out longer than we thought and that's something that's a perfect serving size for her. She's a beagle mix and it's a great alternative to have for your dog. I've also got a survival spoon uh, fork. It's got a little serrated edge for a knife um, that I use. Um, for any of these mountain house or alpine air uh, that I keep in my bag and we've done one video uh, reviewing mountain house and we're going to continue to do so so please give us uh, feedback in the comments section below for any certain flavors and brands that you want us to try. Also I've got uh, Streamlight flashlights. I've got a smaller one and I've also got a medium sized one. I actually used to carry this medium sized one with me um, and those handcuffs, they're both yellow, and that's why I carried those when I was a law enforcement officer. I wanted high visibility um, in the event that I had to pull one of those out uh, quickly. I don't want anyone to mistake in that for a uh, lethal weapon. So, um, but it's also a good idea to have because this is, uh, everything in here should be high visibility because this is a hiking bag. Um, there's no reason why stealth should be something um, that should be of concern. If you're hiking, uh, that's different than if you're hunting. If you're hunting, you probably do want to go with camo and, and low visibility colors, uh, but that's just my preference. Uh, I've got uh, store-proof matches. Uh, guys, again, this is just a review of what I've got. I could do a whole hour-long segment on why storm-proof matches are good to have. Um, obviously, for starting fires, so you can be warm, so you can heat up the water to heat up your meals, stay warm, keep you alive, etc., etc. I've got a Bear Grylls. I love Bear Grylls stuff. I've got a bunch of uh, Gerber knives, um, and it's a little uh, survival kit. And in that, it's got some... Um, a uh, little fishing kit. Uh, it's got uh, some information for signaling planes or, or uh, you know, if you need to be rescued, some tips that can help you survive. A bunch of other little things in there. I recommend you looking at that. Um, I try to pick those up uh, any chance I get. They're relatively cheap, about $30. Um, for everything you get with that, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, next, I've got a uh, it's a power bank for a cell phone. Um, that's always a great option to have. It's also got an LED light. So it's got the option to put out light. It's also got an option to put out power and to accept power uh, with an input position. Uh, it's always great to have, especially if you are in an area where your cell phone has died, but you do have cell phone signal service, uh, maybe you have Wi-Fi. It's definitely gonna be a lifesaver for you. Um, next, I have got wet wipes. I go with the Kirkland brand, but this is not a sponsored video for Costco, not yet. Um, but uh, I do like those, they're relatively affordable. I like to buy things in bulk. Um, and that's just one of those things you can never have enough of in bulk. And you're gonna wish that you would have had those if you are in a survival situation. 
Um, it does a very uh, good job uh, and it's a lot more comfortable using those. But I've also got a, a small toilet paper um, roll that has been put in plastic and the inside roll has been taken out. So uh, it's more of a travel size. I've also got first aid in my 511 bag. I'm not going to get it all out. It's basic first aid. It's got wraps, tapes, uh, bandages, antiseptic like Neosporin in there. Uh, all that stuff you can get relatively cheap at um, Dollar General. Um, you can get that stuff at Walmart. You can get that stuff online anywhere. I've got a gray tarp. Um, now the reason I go with gray, um, sometimes in a survival situation, maybe you don't want too much attention on you, even though I've got a lot of visibility items here, those can be put in my low visibility um, tan bag. So in that situation, I would want my shelter from the rain or my rain collection system to be um, not so visible and bright, just in the event that I may need to keep it low key. Um, also, I've got some batteries, always keep batteries. These, uh, these uh, uh, flashlights, they don't, they don't run on sunshine. They don't run on dirt and water. So always have extra batteries. I use, and I've got a, a link shown below, um, where it is a waterproof seal container. And I'm going to have batteries and I'm going to have the container um, visible for you guys on the screen. And you can just put some foam, just buy some cheap foam from any store, cut it up just to separate the batteries so they're not touching, um, which could eventually lead to leakage and uh, just poor performance overall. Um, I've got a tourniquet. Um, I always recommend uh, be in the mind frame and, and practice the muscle memory of handling a tourniquet with one hand at all times because one hand is what you may potentially need if your other arm, other hand may be injured to the point where you have to cut that circulation off and use your tourniquet. Life straw, I've got to say personally, a life straw is probably the most important item in this bag. A lot of people argue uh, shelter, foods, you know, uh, water, protection, things of that nature. I will always argue water is the most important and fundamentally um, necessary items and tools of survival. And you cannot beat the fact that as long as you're not in stagnant water, um, you just take the, the life straw with you and you just drink straight from the water um, that is flowing um, within your vicinity. And uh, it's, it's so lightweight, it's so easy, and it, it filters an unimaginable amount of water. And they're only $20, sometimes $17 is as low as I've seen them as well. Um, and I think last is, that, that I'm going to talk about at least today, is uh, a two-person, um, and it's a reflective blanket uh, but it's in the form of a sleeping bag. And it's a two-person, maybe not two of me, um, but um, it could probably squeeze my wife in there. Um, what I make up for extra, she makes up for by being extra small, so we would probably level it out there. Um, maybe even squeeze the, the dog in there, you never know. But that's always a great thing to have. Always think about the person that's with you or the person that may be with you. Never just think solo in your mind and you'll always be extra prepared. Guys, again, my name is Scott. This is Old Hickory. If you have not already, like and subscribe to this channel. Have a great day.